comment of the week goes to Pale Empress. Thank you so much for your comment. I really like reading all those comments, and if you'd like to be the comment of the week, all you have to do is leave a comment. That could have been you. Howdy, my peeps, and welcome to week two of Peachtober. We're nearly halfway there, which is really crazy to think about. By the time you're seeing this on YouTube, we're already on day 12. That's insane. This month really does seem to be flying by. Not gonna lie, I started to lose a little bit of steam around day nine, which I'll get to that once we get there. But first, we're starting off with day six, which was sketch. This drawing took me 52 minutes to complete, and part of that is because I had to actually take a picture of the drawing and fix some things in Procreate once I was finished, which should have been a hint that this week would be just a little bit off for me. The drawing session itself was pretty chill. I didn't have any trouble drawing anything. That is, I thought I didn't until after I finished and I looked at it and I realized his eyes are way too far apart for this particular character. Like I was just looking at the character. I was like, why does he just look so childlike in the face? And it was, it was the eyes. And the funny thing about that is, like I said, the prompt was sketch and I wanted to draw the character holding a sketch that he did of himself. And I wanted it to look really Really off <laughs> and the funny thing is I ended up just making the entire drawing look off I kind of freaked out just a little bit but then I was like you know what I have procreate I could just fix it on procreate so this is what it looked like originally and this is what it looked like after I fixed it I also tweaked his nose just a little bit just because I could and it turned out okay and I like it next we have day seven which was bud this one took me an hour and six minutes to complete and it's definitely one of the stronger drawings from this week for this prompt, I decided to be a little unconventional, I guess, with the prompt, or at least not go with my very first thought for the prompt, which was flower buds. Instead, I went with best buds. I drew my OCs, Jakari and Kamir. They're like best buddies in the little Star Wars comic that I work on once in a blue moon, <laughs> if I'm honest. I was a little nervous about drawing this one because there are two characters here, and I was like, if I mess something up, I'm gonna want to redo it. I just, I'm just gonna want to redraw it. But I made a rule for myself that I'm not allowed to just redraw drawings willy-nilly because if I did that, I would probably redraw every single drawing or most drawings. And that would just cause me to get burnout way too quickly. So it's it's a way for me to prevent the burnout and a way for me to just, you know, make sure I'm not spending too long on drawings. But at the same time, it's like also causing a little bit of stress I've realized because I feel like a, a little pressure from myself to make sure I get the drawing right the first time and that is causing me to procrastinate with some of these drawings a little bit I'm realizing but it ended up being fine and I spent quite a bit of time on this this one I'm trying to spend like 30 minutes to an hour on drawings this one like I said took me an hour and I had so much fun with this all so much fun I really enjoyed coloring their clothes in particular I was like I'm gonna add like a little texture to their clothes and stuff and it's just gonna be a fun chill time and it was there are a couple of like minor issues here but they're not bothering me too much the only one that I maybe like a little like hmm about is that I for whatever reason just decided not to draw their hands I don't know, maybe I just didn't feel like it that day, who knows. I don't draw my character Jakari too often, but this drawing made me wonder if maybe I should draw a little more often. Here's how it turned out. Like I said earlier, it's definitely one of my stronger drawings from this week, and it's also one of my favorites. I really like the colors, and I think it's super cute. Next up we have day 8, which was River. This drawing took me 35 minutes to complete. This was also at the point where I started to hit a few bumps in the road, if you will. If you watched the video where I planned out all of my Peachtober drawings, you'll know that this is the drawing that I was the most excited about. I decided to draw this Nautilin character who is inspired by this little dude, a rough-skinned newt, which I had never heard of this little thing. But Nautilins are like an amphibian species in Star Wars, and I thought it would be neat to find like a river animal that I could use to... Like, like inspire a character. I decided to do a full body drawing because in my sketchbook I was sketching out some ideas and I did a sketch that I really liked and I was like well I can do that and I'd like to color it. But looking back at it I wish I had just done like a portrait or a bust or something instead of a full body thing because you can't really see the thing that's like the most exciting I feel about the drawing. The funny thing is I think my little color test that I did on a little scrap piece of paper turned out a little better than the final drawing and that's kind of unfortunate but it'd be like that sometimes. Here's the finished drawing not my best work in my opinion but I had to move forward because I had so many more drawings to do next up we have day nine which is apricot it took me 38 minutes to complete and this is 
a drawing that I redid. If you would like to see the original drawing that I did, I did post it on Instagram under day nine as like the second slide. A link to my Instagram is in the description along with a few other of my social medias. I do plan on maybe posting that process on Patreon as well if you're interested. I redid this one because I did not like the colors that I chose originally. I chose like a blue shirt and she had like a cream colored skirt and things and it just was not looking too great in my opinion. For my second attempt, I decided to go with green. I kept the cream color though and orange and I also kept her blonde hair and I definitely prefer the colors in this version over the other version. And I also changed her hairstyle and I made her purse a little bigger. I did make a mistake though and put like the zipper for the purse on the bottom like running along the bottom and the side which doesn't make any sense. So like when she opens her purse all of her stuff's gonna fall out but let's just not look too hard at it but this is how it turned out at this point i was getting tired i was like i don't feel like drawing anymore but fortunately for day 10 i was able to switch things up and the prompt for day 10 was pixel unfortunately i accidentally corrupted the video file for this one so i'm just going to describe it <laughs> so i used this website called pixel art it's free and i used to use this website back in the day like a decade ago almost which is crazy and it's free and i saw that there's like a little art community on there too which is really nice even though i have done digital art before the stuff that i used to make was super simple and i was trying to be a little more ambitious with it this time i was trying to use some of the techniques that i usually use with my regular digital art for this and it wasn't working out how i expected but i do like how it turned out still next up we have day 11 wheel this one took me an hour and 29 minutes to draw and i did not want to do this at all day 9 really took a toll on me especially coming off of the heels of day 8 in which i drew something that i really didn't like and then day 9 where i redrew the drawing after I finished it completely. And then day 10 where I was doing something that was out of my comfort zone. So by the time I got to day 11, I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Well, not just like the whole challenge, but like I, I felt like I needed a break. So I procrastinated for like a day, which I'm really glad that I decided to do these drawings in batches this year because I had the freedom to take a day off when I needed it. And so I finally made myself sit down and start on it. And I'm glad I did because this is one of my favorite drawings from this week, which it's funny how that works out. I didn't feel like doing it. But this is one of the best drawings from this week. This drawing kind of required a background because the characters are in a car. And I couldn't just draw a wheel with a white background. That wouldn't make any sense. So I was like, well, I kind of got to draw the rest of the car. I purposely planned out these drawings so that they would not have backgrounds so that I wouldn't have to do too much each day. This is a 31 day challenge and I really did not want to burn out too quickly. So I tried to make a lot of these drawings as simple as I could make them. I ended up sketching out the drawing in my sketchbook and using my light pad to transfer it over into my flip sketchbook which was the right call because I really didn't want my sketch to be too messy and while I was sketching my stuff in my sketchbook which initially was just going to be like my warm-up planning stage I realized that I really liked the sketch that I did but the characters weren't in the background I did everything separately so I was like you know what I have a light pad that I bought a while ago and that I never use I decided to put it to good use and I'm glad that I thought of that because that was definitely the way to go. I don't think I've ever drawn the interior of a car before and I realized that I don't know what the windows look like from the inside and I had a reference. I had several references in fact but for whatever reason I still ended up drawing too many windows but I eventually fixed it. I think, I hope. The seat belts are looking a little challenged though but other than that I really love this drawing. Originally I was going to draw my character Lintz, the one holding the bag of chips, road raging but then I was like nah I'm just gonna draw him being silly instead so he's like really focused on eating his chips instead of driving which is maybe a little unsafe which is why the other character Myra is looking at him that way. This is how the drawing turned out. It's definitely one of my favorite drawings 
from this week and maybe even one of my favorite drawings from the entire month so far so that's something next up we have day 12 earth and this one took me 24 minutes this one was a breeze to get through and it was a welcome addition to this week I didn't struggle with this at all. As you, as I mentioned, it didn't take me that long to do and I had a lot of fun with this. This drawing requires a little bit of explaining because this is not a very obvious interpretation of the prompt. So this is my OC K-Mirror, except I drew him as a person from Earth because he's not from Earth, he's a Star Wars OC and he's not human either. So I had to change a few things about his design to make him human, but I didn't feel like I had to start from scratch because I've sort of kind of not sort of kind of i actually did already do this with a different oc and that's my oc lintz lintz and kmir used to be brothers so i was able to kind of take some of the things that i changed about lintz's design and use it for this character so lintz is black and indigenous so i was able to kind of get some of those features and lintz also has like very thick eyebrows so kmir has to have thick eyebrows I actually love this idea so much that I started sketching stuff for this a week or so ago. I was so excited. I am a little disappointed in myself. I'm kicking myself a little because I forgot his spots. So Kamir has like some patches of green on his face and parts of his body. And I was thinking about giving this character Vitilago to kind of bring those elements into this design. But I forgot. Somehow I forgot. And now that I'm thinking about it, I guess I could have gone on Procreate and added it, but I didn't think that far while I was drawing this, so for now he's not gonna have that. I also gave him grown out bleach blonde hair because it felt like it fit the character. And while I was designing this character, I also was thinking maybe his personality would be a little bit different, which was interesting. I didn't expect that to come out of this process. And because of those personality differences and some of the other things I thought about, I don't think he would be Lintz's brother with this version of him, maybe a cousin or something. I still like the drawing nonetheless. I think my favorite parts about this drawing are his hair. I'd never, at least not to my knowledge, colored grown out bleach blonde hair so that was interesting and i really like how his chain turned out it looks really shiny but anyways this is how it looks i like it a few things i would change but i still like it and i'm also really happy about the fact that i was able to end this week on a high note but anyways thanks so much for watching shout out to my patrons merriment illustrations sister donna 55 and kelsey thanks so much for being my patrons i really appreciate you and everything that you do well oh my goodness links to all my social medias patreon etsy and stuff are in the description and here are a couple of videos that i think you would like but anyways thanks so much for watching and i will see you next time